we're going to be looking at my battle rattle, my fighting kit. So this is the kit that I use, uh, that I've been using for a number of semesters now. And then I also use this in doing some tactical response, small unit tactics, direct action. I actually did not use this during the CQB courses, but this is what I do run for um, specifically one shepherd. And then this is also my citizen soldier kit, right? So if, you know, I had to go out and do a citizen soldier shit, I could do this. Um, I also have a plate carrier. I could put it on, you know, below this or on top of this or whatever. That's the nice thing about the Atlas kit is it's just literally a belt and freaking suspenders. Um, so if you need to throw a plate carrier on top of it or, you know, under it or however you like to run your kit, you can do that. It's an option. I don't typically run carriers at One Shepherd. Again, I've seen guys come through. They have the whole plate carrier set up in the first day. And by the second day, it's, it's, you toss to the side. So um, run it or not, but I don't personally run one at One Shepherd. So this is this is what I'm using. Uh, we'll start with the helmet. I did make the investment in a freaking bump helmet, okay? I felt kind of like a LARPer. Uh, I felt kind of like one of those air softeners buying it. <laughs> it was like 70 bucks on Amazon. I was thinking about going ahead and doing the nods, buying nods, right? PBS 14 or whatever. Uh, Jen's like, oh, no. <laughs> waste of money. Well, yeah, it might be. I haven't bought them yet, but if I do decide that I make money in the stock market on freaking something goes to the moon and I can afford to buy a pair, then I'll attach them to here, right? That's why I got it. It actually has come in handy. Uh, surprisingly, we were doing infiltration, exfiltration a lot at One Shepherd this past semester, and I was really cramped up in a van, right? We were infilling with this fucking cargo van. So I was um, standing up because I, I had my, I was squad leader. I had my guy sitting down. So I was standing up and my head kept knocking against the roof of the van, which is why guys wear a bump helmet, right? So it actually, it did come in handy. On the back here, I have a cat eye, uh, cat's eye. This just basically glows in the dark. It doesn't really do anything else fancy. It doesn't kill your enemies. It doesn't, you know, shoot rays out of it. It, it just glows in the dark. Um, this is, we put these on our helmets or on our hats so that at night the new basic warriors can grab a hold of us and we'll lead them through the woods because any of you guys who have ever operated out at night, whether it's a training environment or the real thing, will know that the night is totally different and people tend to kind of freak out at first in the woods at night. So this is why we do that to, uh, to let everyone know, Hey, follow me. Right. And that's by the way, as you guys may know, that's the motto at One Shepherd. It's a leadership academy. Follow me. So that's what that's about. Bump helmet's cool, and it looks like, you know, Special Forces too. So can't go wrong with that. Get the pussy, you know, get the glory. Um, Jen can tell you all about this. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Shut the this fuck is, up. This, this is, is about, about your me, kit. not about you. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Kit. Anyway, guys, back to here. So this is my Alice kit. Um, it's pretty straightforward. The guys run these differently, but this is the way I've been running it for years. I have my gloves on here attached with a little carabiner, right? Gloves are essential especially crawling through the woods. There's freaking thorns. There's freaking all kinds of dangerous shit. Protect your hands. Very mm -hmm. important. Poison then, ivy. Poison ivy. I've, <laughs> I've got it all over my arms right now and my legs too. So the less exposure, the better. Um, up here, I had a um, Leatherman and in a little pouch. Mm -hmm. It got lost in the woods. I'll mm. have to get a new one. It happens. Then I've got my mag pouches. Um, obviously, uh, three round, three can't even say how many rounds they hold, but you know what I'm saying. Three mags uh, will be in here. Here I've got my compass, okay? And mm -hmm. you know, you need one of these compasses. I did la land nav this past semester, and it, uh, I learned all about how to use this bad boy. Now I feel like a pro, but get yourself a really nice one, because if you don't, then I think it's called a lensatic compass, something like that, military compass. If you don't get a nice one, it's not that it won't work, but um, it just, it's better to have a nice one. It won't work as well. We attach these to us. All right. So what you'll see guys do is they'll take a paracord and um, they'll make like a necklace lanyard out of it. And that way, if you drop it, if you have to transition your weapon at some point or whatever, if you drop it, it stays around your neck. What I have right now is just it attached to my kit. So if I do have to drop it or it accidentally falls out, like everything tends to, mm -hmm. it will stay there. And I have that like right here so that I can get to it. And then, obviously, on the sides, after that, my mag pouches, right? Then I've got my bayonet. Obviously, we're not running around sticking mm -hmm. each other with bayonets at One Shepherd. But again, I do intend to have this as a fighting kit and a loadout for whatever, right? So I do keep my bayonet on here. And then, um, canteens. 
I've got my canteens and a nice little canteen uh, cup on the other side. And canteens are one of the things obviously we use the most. Now we come, and Jen's been wondering all day. She said, what's a butt pack? Yes. It makes me laugh. What's a butt yeah, pack? Yeah, every time you say it, I think dirty things. <laughs> well, there's nothing dirty about this other than the fact that it's been in poison ivy and oh. other things as well. So Ew. we'll wash our hands after we handle this. But mm -hmm. we open up the butt pack, and the <laughs> butt packs are great. I'm going to keep saying it just so she keeps <laughs> laughing her little <laughs> freaking ass off. So what do I keep in my butt pack? <laughs> Um, first of all, plugs. I keep a beanie. <laughs> plugs? No, there's no plugs in my butt pack. I'll leave that to your, uh... All right, your back to the there. fucking... <laughs> Just so we know, like, we're not into that weird shit, you know, or anything like that. I'm pretty vanilla about things. Anyway, <laughs> I keep a beanie <laughs> down in here. And then, um... I also keep, speaking about poison ivy, I keep some of these ivy off things, all right? Mm. These are really handy. So what they're meant for is you wipe your arms and shit down before you are in contact with it, but it will also help remove the poisonous oils from the ivy. You've got like a number of hours before the uh, oil will really soak into your skin. So every time I come home from a patrol or I come back into the patrol base, I wipe my shit down if I can. And I keep a couple of these in the butt pack as well. Not plugs, but wipes. <laughs> so... Here I've got my moleskins. Um, obviously, if you're out and you're humping around and uh, humping around and you <laughs> get a blister, you want to treat that motherfucker as quickly as possible. So not only do I keep my moleskins, but I keep an extra pair of socks. And somewhere in here as well, I have my foot powder. So oh. take care of your feet, guys, and make sure it's on your person, okay? Mm -hmm. Because, again, if you're out on patrol and you start really getting that hot spot... Treat it immediately. Don't wait because it will only become worse. And that's something I can tell you from personal experience and then the experience, you know, treating other guys. I'm an EMT, so I always let my guys know, hey, if there's anything going on with you, fucking let me know because I can help you with it. Don't just ignore it and then become combat ineffective and useless piece of shit. Nothing I hate more than somebody who, like, has something going on, they refuse to say anything, and then they become just a casualty. Like, yeah. have some common sense. So uh, I keep a chem light on me. Uh, chem light obviously has like a million and one uses and they're good. Uh, if you're sneaking, sneaking around at night, you know, you might not want these. But if you have to mark a trail for the next team or something like that or in an emergency situation, whatever. Chem lights are great. Um, IR chem lights are also great. But again, not everybody runs nods. We're not special forces. We're literally a bunch of citizen soldiers here. So, you know, we don't all have a million dollar budget. Obviously, I keep some Zin on me. I'm, again, I'm a fiend for this shit. I love my nicotine, so i got to have some on me. I don't want to, like, not have it. I keep some baby wipes on me, okay? So if i got to go and take a shit real quick, I keep some of these on me. If I didn't have these, I would just do toilet paper. You can use the MRE toilet paper that comes in, though. They have little squares, little squares of toilet paper that come with it. But uh, these, these are much better, and they're much more effective. Luxury. Oh, yeah. I'm all about the luxury. <laughs> Only the best for me. <laughs> Speaking of that, the best, they keep some gold bond friction defense, okay? This goes in between your legs. So I don't care who you are. We've probably, almost all of us, experienced chafing in between our legs. If you're going around in the fucking heat enough and you're all kitted out, you're probably at some point going to experience some type of chafing. So spread a little of this in between your thighs, especially if you've got thicker thighs like me, right? Then you really need this. Um... I don't always get that problem, but in fact, when I was fat, I used to get it. Now I really rarely get it, but last semester I got it once. And that was once enough for me to say, fuck this, an ounce of uh, prevention is worth a pound of cure, something like that, right? Mm -hmm. So I keep that on me. Uh, next, I keep calories on me. So I, I mentioned, I think, in one of the other videos that I keep an MRE or a field strip MRE in here, but I will also keep like a freaking Snickers bar and usually a protein bar or two as well because something I've learned is like, yes, I generally lose a couple of pounds when I'm at One Shepherd, but I don't want to consciously be trying to lose weight. I need energy, especially when you're literally training all week. Guys, we go, we hit, we hit PT at 6 a.m., generally speaking, 6 to 6.30 a.m., and a lot of the times we don't stop until 11 p.m., all right? So it's, it's go, 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 and you're on your feet and you're moving around all day. I'm up, he sees me, I'm down. Fire team rushes, whatever else you're doing, land nav. So 
Keeping your calories up is essential, all right? Now, it's not about losing weight. Like, if you want to lose weight, fucking diet, you lazy prick. Just, when you're there, don't think about it. Eat, okay? And it's, it's going to keep your system plenished with calories, protein, and electrolytes, and all that shit that you need to go ahead and, like, keep going. Otherwise, you're going to be weak and ineffective, and I'm going to call you a fucking loser. So don't do that. Just eat. Um, so I mentioned about the protein and the calories. I do keep zip ties and paracord, all right, to throw a shelter up and also to make hasty repairs on my gear. So my fucking pouch starts falling off, I'm going to zip tie that bad boy on. Um, it's really, really handy, these zip ties. Same thing with the paracord. I'll go ahead, if I'm having problems with my compass or whatever, I'll paracord it, I'll put it around me. If something else keeps falling out, I'll freaking duct tape it on with some paracord. And then there we go, hasty field repairs. Speaking about that, I keep duct tape as well. So um, we got the face camo paint. We need to reapply this every so often. And you have to have it on you. And I really think that that's almost it. Let me see if there's anything else besides another protein bar. I keep some Tums, all right? Because mm -hmm. I tend to get uh, acid reflux or heartburn. So I want to have these on me. Otherwise, I'm going to be miserable. Uh, all right, that's it. And everything else is... We got uh, another mag pouch and then a canteen with a canteen cup. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. So I keep the canteen cup in case I need to cook any liquids up or whatever, mm. especially in a colder environment. That's really great. And then here I got my ranger beads. This is for, this is for pace counting and it really is, uh, it's kind of critical if you're doing any type of land nav. All right, guys, so that's my fighting kit that I use at One Shepherd. I will also use it in other training programs and uh, Lord forbid I have to ever actually put it on and do some work i have it available for that as well i hope you enjoy guys the next thing that we're going to be doing is i'm just going to briefly touch on the uniforms um and i'm going to show you some like tips to keep your uniform serviceable and looking nice as well because if you don't look good then fuck you so you have to look good all right guys until next time please remember that you are your first and last line of defense and i'll see you on the next video cheers guys